Anybody who says otherwise is a conspiracy theorist. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the past few years, everyone that's been labeled a conspiracy theorist was really just ahead of the curve. My friends, it's January 6th. Now, I wasn't originally going to make a video today, but I watched a few other people's videos and decided I should chip in with my own two cents on the so-called insurrection. We need to be very clear here. There was no insurrection. A real insurrection is organized, involves heavily armed people, involves a swift and sure, well-planned attack wherein the existing government is ousted by force and replaced with a new one. That's not even remotely what happened here. January 6th, 2021, what you had was police letting people into the Capitol building. The only person who died that day was an unarmed female protester who was shot by a cop. Yet nobody seems to care. You know, I thought cops shooting unarmed women might be something that people gave a crap about in America, but apparently we've gotten to that point. If you have the wrong politics, it's okay for the police to shoot you. If you have an identity label, but you make the mistake of not falling in line with radical left ideology, it's okay for police to shoot you. At least that's the way that things seem to be going in America. The only person who died was shot by a cop and was a woman and was unarmed. In fact, January 6th is the first, if we believe the narrative, is the first unarmed, unplanned insurrection in history. In world history, in fact. Unplanned, unarmed, un <laughs> just where do you get this? Come on! If you look at the video evidence, and there's a plethora of video evidence, you see the vast majority of people, at worst, engaged in petty crimes, if even that. The vast majority didn't do anything wrong. One of the things that you do have, though, is the people who were arrested and held without charges. Guess who isn't included in that group? People like Ray Epps, E-P-P-S. Ray Epps was one of many people that uh, basically were the provocateurs of anything naughty that did happen and was arrested and let go. But other people who actually objectively did not commit any crimes have been arrested and not charged in violation of the Constitution of the United States of America. You are not allowed to hold people without any kind of charge in the United States. It is simply not allowed. You have to charge them with something, but we have people in a modern day Guantanamo Bay right here in America because they happened to be near the Capitol on the day that will live in infamy that for some reason nobody wants to discuss specifics about anymore because they can't actually find anything that suits the narrative. Keep it vague and you can control the narrative get into specifics, and all of a sudden, you get caught in your lies. See, maintaining a lie is much harder than maintaining the truth, because the truth does not change. The truth does not require you to think to realize what the truth is, to remember the truth and to bring it out. But a lie, a falsehood that you architect, you must build and you must create out of nothing. There is not a pile of facts and video evidence to support your lie. There is just what you've made up, what other people make up to go with it, and how well that fits together. The problem is lies can never account for every single possibility that might come up. So lies have a tendency to fall apart, if not extremely well-maintained and curated. Poof! And that's January 6th. January 6th was not an insurrection. January 6th is a lie. What really happened is a bunch of people went over there to protest. They were basically told not to do that, but hmm, hey man, when you've got the feds and you've got far leftists provoking, <laughs> there you go. What are you going to do? Some people are susceptible to groupthink, even on the right. You think you're not, right-wingers, but you are. You are susceptible in the same way everyone else is. Peer pressure, the energy of a crowd, charisma, you're just as susceptible as everyone else. 
a lot of people will not think it through and will go, yeah, let's do it. The problem is who led them to the slaughter? Well, the one person slaughter. Feds and leftists. Proof, Ray Epps and others who were let go promptly after being arrested. Whereas, um, you know, everybody else that was arrested is still waiting for charges. And Jaden X, Jaden X, whose channel is gone now, but I have an archive, and you can go find a Mr. Obvious video called January 6th Wasn't an Insurrection or something to that effect, where he shows the video evidence that used to be on the Jaden X channel of Jaden X and his other friend that went to this Capitol protest and were cheering because they managed to help get everybody to go in. He was like, oh, I can't really talk about it now, but I told you, I told you this is going to happen. I told you this is, that we'll be able to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing that's out there. Leftists celebrating on video and posting to the internet that they made the January 6th insurrection happen that they provoked it into occurring. You have a combination of the feds and the left pushing these people into the slaughter. W what do you think is going to happen? That's where we are. I, can't, I don't know what else to say. I'm talking in circles right now because it really is this ridiculous and stupid. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It was, it was so clearly not an insurrection. It so clearly was idiots provoking them into doing what they did, what little they did, and blatant constitutional violations. What more do you want from me? What more do you want from anyone? The proof is out there. You can go watch any video. At most, you have what appears to be people breaking through barriers. But if you look closely, guess what you see? You see the police taking the barriers down and letting the people through. And, you know, I see claims somewhere in a few places on the internet that, oh, you know, the police were just, you know, this is whenever there's a lot of people and not a lot of police, the police will do this thing where they try to control them by letting them have a little ground. And then, you know, by, by letting them have a little ground, it releases the tension so they can keep some control over the people. That bullshit. Bullshit. You have police posing for selfies, telling the people they're glad that they're there. This is the calmest insurrection I've ever seen in my life. You've got relatively orderly people walking around inside of the Capitol, as revealed by internal security footage that they didn't allow to be released for a year almost. Wow! It's just so amazing! The whole thing reeks. It, it reeks so bad. And people just continuously fall for this bogus narrative. Left, right, and center. They just can't stop falling for it. The lies continue to hold. Mostly because of peer pressure and repetition. And that's it. If you don't fall in line, <laughs> you're screwed. Other people will get, just dogpile you for not falling in line. So, yeah, of course this lie persists. But on this day, the anniversary of the Great Insurrection, where nobody had any armaments and it was very orderly and the authorities let people in and the only person who was killed was a woman shot by a cop who didn't have a gun and was crawling through a window. Yeah. Yeah. Something has to be changed, gotten right, take your pick in this country because... Stuff like this, this bullshit narrative, continuing for this long, this can't be allowed to continue to happen. You cannot let these bullshit artists manipulate you like this. This is the way that Joe Biden got elected in the first place. Had they not completely suppressed all the information about Hunter Biden, just that, forget the rest, just the suppression of the Hunter Biden story was enough to get Joe Biden elected. Don't you see the problem with that? This is major wrongdoing by the guy who's going to run the most powerful country on earth. Poof! You know, big scandalous story completely covered up by media. Anybody who says otherwise is a conspiracy theorist. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the past few years, everyone that's been labeled a conspiracy theorist was really just ahead of the curve. All the conspiracy theories seem to come true within a year or two. It's pretty messed up, isn't it? 
Let's see, there was an article in Vice when the coronavirus started that said anti-vaxxers are afraid that the government's going to force a vaccine on them. No, stop being ridiculous. What happened with that? Oh, gee, I wonder if they did a follow-up article on that one. No, of course not, because they were wrong. Because the conspiracy theorists, the anti-vax conspiracy theorists, were right. Now, say what you will about anti-vaxxers. I don't like anti-vax in general, although I am vaccine hesitant about the coronavirus one because it's different mRNA and all that, and the long-term effects are, by nature, unknown. Uh, but I'm not against proper vaccinations that have been vetted for decades. And I think anti-vaxxers are a little bit loony. They're kind of, you know, crazy people, really, because they don't understand it and they go ape shit over it. No, they don't cause autism. That was discredited. But some people, when an idea is stuck in their head, they don't allow themselves to be wrong. Because if they were wrong about that, then what else are they wrong about? Worldview falls apart. Existential crisis. Woo! But I've diverged a bit from the original topic of this January 6th and all. But I think it's important to acknowledge the conspiracy theorists have been ahead of the curve consistently for the past few years. In fact, the origin of the term conspiracy theory lies with intelligence agencies trying to discredit people who were revealing what they were doing, who were revealing the facts, but too early. See, it's okay for the facts to be revealed once no one can do anything about them. But if you reveal the facts too early, someone has to be able to shoot you down. So, I believe it was the CIA, but it could have been the NSA, um, came up with conspiracy theory as a way to dismiss the people publicly who were leaking the narrative, who were putting the information out there that was correct. So, if you really think about it, what does conspiracy theory actually mean? It means, by the definition of how the CIA, NSA, whatever used it, it means that these people are right, but they're letting the information out too early. It can, it can still be a problem if you believe them right now. Don't, and now, 10 years later, when the operation's long closed and the fallout isn't really going to matter and no one cares anymore, they can leak it all they want. <clears throat> and this is the problem with conspiracy theories. Yeah, some of them, yes, some of them are loony. We don't live on a flat earth, it's pretty well proven. But for the most part, the most prominent conspiracy theories that have spread far and wide have been the truth and just been ahead of the curve. It's very interesting. January 6th, hey man, it's a conspiracy theory, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, it's a conspiracy theory that Ashley Babbitt did nothing wrong, was not a criminal, was an unarmed woman shot while helpless climbing through a window, not able to defend herself, by a police officer who investigated himself and found he did nothing wrong, by a police department who investigated themselves and found they did nothing wrong. Nothing will happen to the person who shot this unarmed woman. Oh well. Yep, alright, I'm done, I'm done. This, this whole subject, is, it just annoys me. It annoys me that people... I mean, this is what is meant. I know there's an XKCD comic where he talks about, when you say that people are stupid, you, you don't really mean that people are stupid. You mean that they disagree with you and you just don't like it. Well, no, this is why that comic is wrong. People are stupid. A lot of people are stupid. Most people have a tendency to behave in stupid ways, but there's quite a few people that tend to be on the more frequent end of the stupid. And they're out there and they're running the frickin' world. It's a bit of a problem. All right, I'm done. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. JodyBruceon.com, give me money so I can keep complaining to a camera. Check this out, I'm holding my microphone today. You know why I'm holding my microphone? You, you may find this interesting. This is the mic stand, and uh, down here, it's his desk. Well, it continues all the way to here, but if I had to put it over here, then this is what it would sound like, and it doesn't sound very good. So I'm holding it, because I like you a lot. Take care, have a wonderful January 6th, a day that Frankly, I don't care that much about, outside of the fact that people can't stop lying about it. Good day!